Hey guys, it's Fantasia and welcome to a video all about how to make The Sims 4 more fun. So if you guys, you know, play The Sims 4 often, you may kind of feel like you get bored really easily. It's lacking in a lot of ways. You constantly are like, how can I make this more fun? I see people say that all the time. So today I just really wanted to do a video kind of letting you guys know the ways that I make The Sims 4 more fun because I do play The Sims 4 almost every single day and I just feel like over time I have discovered multiple different ways to make the game more enjoyable especially when I'm super bored with it. This these really, really help. So the first thing I'm going to mention has to do with PC only, but all the rest are for console and computer. And yeah, so I'm just going to get that one out of the way first. But before we get into it, we're going to do our notification shout out. So this one goes to Schnell, I think it is Schnell. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I'm sorry, but thank you so much. We're actually in my modded save right now for this video. So I'm so glad that you like that and they have your heart. Literally, they have my heart. Thank you so much for your comment. And if, and if you guys want a chance to be in a notification, shout out all you gotta do is comment down below so let's get into this the very first thing coincidentally I mean we're in my modded let's play save is mods so this is only for PC players of course like I said so I did want to get it out of the way first so if you are a console player don't worry there's gonna be lots of things to it that apply to you as well that you can do in your gameplay but I just wanted to say this first because honestly it is the top thing that helps but a lot of other things do help a lot too just for me adding mods to my game has helped so much. So for example, I have some crazy mods in my game that are more adult, like base mental mod, wicked whims, all of that. And they add so much more. They add so much more realism and they just add so much for my sins. Like as you guys can see, literally she is feeling this because she took shrooms. She has this from a mod, Enjoyable Time from her woohoo. Um, just so much stuff is going on. Another top mod that I absolutely love is Slice of Life. So Slice of Life is more PG. I feel like anyone can use it and it is so fun. It literally makes your game so freaking fun. Let me just go ahead and just click on her and there's Slice of Life. And so this adds like more stuff to your smartphone. It gives you skincare. It gives you a shopping system. You do like online shopping. It gives you a fitness system. It gives you body care. And then not only that, it gives you like a million moodlets. So basically she's actually feeling something here. With clean hands, you won't make such disgusting food. So it just like adds to your everyday gameplay for kids. They can lose a tooth and they get a moodlet for it and they actually do lose a tooth. You your sims can break out which she is actually currently breaking out so she's breaking out right now and instead of you just having to put the acne on and create a sim they actually just get acne and they can do like skincare treatments for it and the, you can get like basically when your sims pregnant you can feel baby kicks you can get baby fever if you want a baby it's so many things it just makes your game have a life. So it's literally amazing. So highly recommend looking into mods. There's so many more than that that I have like that are just so good. So on my channel, I actually have a mod playlist. If you guys go to my channel, you will see um, a mod playlist. I have mod reviews. Also some of my top videos that I've done, like my top popular videos are mod related. So if you want to just go to my top popular videos, you'll find them there. So that is the first thing. So now on to things that all players, if you're on console and stuff, you can do these things as well. So number two is story storytelling, even if you are not a storyteller, I highly recommend getting into it and you may enjoy it more than you think. So if you are in create a sim, for example, so let's just go ahead and go into create a sim. Usually, well, I guess we may have to leave this save because I don't think it's going to give me the option. So let's actually get out of here really fast. Seven. So when you head into a new game, basically, you now this wasn't always here but it is now basically it says hi would you like to create my story we'll start with a fun personality quiz afterwards you can customize my appearance so you can choose not to do this or you can click okay so if you are not into storytelling you don't know how to even start it you're just not creative like that do this first it will basically create a little story for you and then you can add on to it. So you, this basically will give you some sort of direction and you can just add up to the story from there. So I never really used to do storytelling a long time ago. I got into it more when I started YouTube and now even when I'm playing on my own, I will incorporate storytelling and The Sims 4 lacks the whole storytelling aspects that happens on its own. Like in The Sims 2, I feel like you didn't need to storytell because it kind of told the story for you. The Sims 4, you have to put in that more effort. So let's say we want them to be a young adult. Get creative with this. Maybe even pick some things that you necessarily wouldn't 
pick like I mooch off my friends maybe oh, you wouldn't choose that but do it for the up. sim and then like guests are coming over how do I prepare maybe you make a rock and playlist uh, and then maybe the sim is like a party up. sim uh, just like choose things that you wouldn't usually choose same goes for like let me just go ahead and pick a bunch of stuff we're just gonna get through this then you have this sim here and basically you're not gonna be able to change their traits so this kind of forces you to like tell a story in a way that you may not and then you can go ahead and mess with their appearance so this kind of gives you like a starting thing for a story so you can go off of this and just be creative even if you're not a creative person this is gonna obviously put the step in the right direction to do that so highly recommend just going through the story thing and like I said, try to choose things that you usually wouldn't choose. Now, going off of that, another thing that you should do, in my experience, this helps a lot, is pretty basic, but literally just choose traits that you normally wouldn't choose. So I feel like a lot of times, a lot of us will pick good traits for our sims. I even still do that a lot. But like, pick something that is negative like hot headed or something just something you usually wouldn't choose and it's gonna spice up your gameplay it's gonna make it more fun and different and just different than the usual you know what i mean it's not gonna be the same thing all the time because you keep making all your sims like love the outdoors and like you make them a cook and you make them outgoing you know like just pick different things that are going to give your sims like different moods it's like make them jealous that's gonna add a lot for you so i uh, yeah just pick some negative traits obviously not all but if you honestly I recommend even picking two traits that you usually wouldn't pick that you usually stray away from and that's going to switch up your gameplay just doing that. Same goes for aspirations. This is kind of in the same category. Try to pick some aspirations that you usually wouldn't go for. Maybe something that doesn't seem like your play style. Just do it anyways and then go out of your way to do the things that it, you know, wants you to do. So that's another thing. Now on to something that really, really helps. So we're back in my modded series. So the next thing has to do with the calendar. So this is so helpful to make your gameplay more fun if you have seasons, of course. So some of these are going to include other packs, of course. I mean, there's so many packs, it's going to have to be that way. So basically adding a whole bunch of different seasons for literally anything you can think of. So of course you have, you know, the ones you always have like love day and stuff like that. But as you can see, I've added some holidays here and I've had other saves. For example, my seasons let's play that I had when seasons came out, I added so many different holidays. So this makes your gameplay so much more fun. So for example, we have Sims world day. I don't know why this is all in lowercase. Oops. But basically this is kind of like a 4th of July type of thing um so they're just celebrating the sims world so that day they'll go out and celebrate you know it's a reason that you have to go out and do that another one is pride day and if you do use mods you can get the lgbt mod and then you'll have pride spirit but even if you don't use mods or you can't use mods you can still do this another thing is making christmas eve or whatever you celebrate um if you you know celebrate something before the day of like for you know, for me i celebrate christmas so for the day before i put christmas eve and i feel like it just gives your sins something else to do the day before christmas and you can make mother's day father's day you can do best friend day you can do so many different holidays you can even do like pancake day like silly things Things like that. You can also, another thing that I love to do is actually putting your Sims anniversary on here because your Sims don't really have an anniversary. So what you can do is the day that your Sims get together, whatever day it is on the calendar that day, you can put it in um, as their anniversary. And then every time that day comes, every single year, you can celebrate their anniversary. So you can do so much with it. I feel like this whole calendar system is often like overlooked and like people don't realize how much they can do with it. You can do so many things with it. So definitely use this whole calendar system to the fullest. If you have seasons, it is everything. It will help you out so much to have more things going on. And honestly, if you get really bored in The Sims 4, you could literally fill this up almost every single day. Another really fun thing is to schedule like a vacation time. And you can also do summer vacation for your kids and teens. You can literally, when it's summertime, you can just put summer vacation for the whole summer and then basically like you know when you make a holiday you can basically pick if you want the day off work and school the only thing is there's not like it's not separate for school and work so that part kind of sucks but if you have if you have mods if you are on pc you can get mods that make it so you can just have it be off school and have that be one of the traditions however it's not the end of the world if 
you don't have mods or you know you're on console and can't have mods you can just click this and basically what you can do kind of my workaround before the mod came out where you can specifically just select no school what you could do is just give your adult sims the money they would make that day that they would make in a full work day so that your sims aren't going broke over the summer <laughs> you can just be creative with it and you can schedule so many different things for the summer vacation and your sims can just have this super fun summer vacation so next up kind of has to do with Sulani, but at the same time you don't really need island living to do this i'm just using Sulani as an example you can do this in any world so now you're able to make any world have vacation homes so before we could only have like the specific vacation destinations but now you can place vacation homes in any world so this opens up a lot of doors and even if you don't have like the packs that seem more vacation-y that's totally okay you could literally turn Newcrest into a vacation world you and everyone has Newcrest so you could just fill it up with vacation lots turn it into whatever you want and the reason why to me this makes your gameplay more fun is because your sims have this place to go on vacation to that actually seems like a vacation world and you can just make it however you want now because you can put vacation homes wherever you want so for example for me personally i really like mount komorabi and sulani for vacation worlds so i think it's really really fun to just basically completely change sulani and make it not livable anymore like no residential lots i don't have it like this here but in one of my off-camera saves i completely got rid of all the residentials no sims live here and i basically just put all vacation homes and like resort type lots that like seem like resorts so just like turn it into a whole vacation home i put like more fun beaches and stuff and just made it feel like a whole tropical vacation and then same thing for Mount Komorabi. It could be your whole snowy vacation. And then when you make your whole summer vacation with your calendar, you could have them go on vacation to these places. And it just seems like it has so much more purpose and just makes it so much more fun to me, at least personally. So another thing that I do to just make my gameplay more fun is just simply stir up drama. Whether you have mods or not, just stir up drama. Have your Sims even though you're like, no, I want my Sim to like have this perfect life. That's sometimes why we get bored. So literally just like have even maybe your sim like lives with roommates and just have them stir up drama with one of them literally just have them do mean interactions and like see what happens i feel like when you start just stirring things up then unexpected things happen and uh, with the sims 4 a lot of times unexpected things never happen and it really sucks but when you start stirring things up then i feel like things start happening even if you don't have mods so just do things that you usually wouldn't do that kind of make your gameplay kind of crazy but then you're kind of looking at your sims relationship panel and like they don't like certain sims and it just stirs things up another thing that goes along with that it's not really another thing it kind of just goes with it basically like a lot of times my sims have multiple different romantic relationships and they're not cheating like basically this sim here is single and she has feelings for multiple different sims and i feel like you know she's just like dating around she's trying to like figure out who she wants to be with and i think that's a lot more fun i feel like a lot of times we will pick a sim and have them settle down with them and that's it i feel like it's so much more fun if you do it in a more realistic way or sometimes crazy way <laughs> have your sim like date around have them go on dates have them you know just just go around the town meet different sims and go on dates with multiple different sims and see like what sim you're feeling see what so what sim your sim is feeling the most if that makes sense and now we have sentiments with the base game so that will kind of help you as well to kind of see like how your sims feeling towards different sims so i think that's really fun so the last one is actually making clubs so i actually noticed this more on my second channel um i made a club and i was like why don't i do this more often if you have get together of course <laughs> so some of these are you know you need other packs but some of them you don't it just kind of depends but making clubs i honestly feel like makes going out so much more fun it makes you want to go out and do things with your sims so basically like if you have a club first of all you can join a club or you can make your own but when you do that okay, we're just gonna have her join this so i'm not gonna save if you guys watch the modded let's play don't worry <laughs> but basically they have things that they like to do look for frogs fish and tend to garden you can do whatever you want there's so many different things and they have things they don't like and basically this is a way for you to want to get to know their sims because when they're in your club i feel like it makes you want to become friends with them you know sometimes it just seems like pointless to like have a bunch of friends in the sims but this gives it like more of a purpose and then it makes you want to go out and do the things that the club has so 
if you make your own club, you could also do very different activities that you usually wouldn't do in The Sims. And this gives you a reason to do them because then you gain club points and then you can buy things. You can buy club perks. So you're like working towards something. That is my top things that make The Sims 4 more fun for me. And hopefully some of them help you guys out. And like I said, I kept thinking of other little things. So maybe I could do another video, but these were just the main ones that popped in my head right away. So I feel like they were the most important to mention. But with that said, you guys, that's that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to comment down below if there are certain things that makes The Sims 4 more fun for you that you figured out. Comment it down below because it could help someone else out. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are all having an amazing, amazing day. And don't forget to leave some positivity down below. I love you guys also so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. You gotta listen up, listen up There's not a thing that I can get from you Boy, I don't need that much, need that much